This netcast is brought to you by Deerswood, the Excel experts, helping you get the most out of Excel. Right, I've made one enhancement to the um, uh, the chemistry homework, so we can we can choose the metal iron here, and we can choose the reagent, and we get the result. And the other thing that we now get is the color. So the way that I've uh, enabled the color to be chosen you can see it says brown precipitate and we get brown and you can see we get a light orange precipitate here we get light orange and uh, and uh, so on um, now if we look at how we did that what I've done is in the uh, there's no particular macro to do that if we launch the visual basic um, editor and in the results sheet um, what we can see is I've put a little macro on the worksheet change event. So anytime a cell changes on the results sheet, it runs this little macro. So I'm just, um, first of all, declaring a uh, my cell as range. And then what it does for each cell in the um, results range of the reaction sheet, so in the table, it checks whether the, the value... Um, in that particular cell is the same as the value of the result from uh, the one that we we looked up using the index and if it is the same then we're going to set the color the interior color of that result cell and I've um, named that cell at result uh, to the same as the interior color in the table and then we're going to exit for so that's going to work every single time that there's a change on that sheet um, so the only thing I just need to prove now is if we look at this here um, and we look at the name manager, you'll see I defined an, an extra range, which was the result, which is that cell. So every time the value here changes, um, it runs that macro on the worksheet change event and uh, we get the, uh, the right color. So all in all, I think uh, we get an A for that piece of homework. Okay. Find us at deerswood.co.uk, helping you get the most out of Excel.